Welcome back, everybody. We're back with another one for today. Today is January the 11th, 2021. Uh, we're going to get into some really specific details around the PPP program, uh, very specific details about the blue vine process, the step by step process. Um, I want you guys to be set up here for success so that you guys can get straight into these portals and start receiving your funds. Today is a huge day. As we know, the relief package has passed yet another round of PPP program. So, Stay tuned. I want you guys to see the step-by-step -step details on how you guys could achieve this rather quickly. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edward Builder. You guys are watching Ask Builder. I thank you guys so much to all my loyal subscribers for tuning in today. And if you're a new viewer, Welcome, welcome guys. Consider becoming a subscriber. Uh, we have some big things we want to go through today. We're going to talk about a step-by-step -step on how you guys could access funds rather rapidly within like three business days through a program that Blue Vine uh, offers. It's an online portal. It's giving you the PPP funding. Within three business days, you could be seeing $20,832. Uh, so in this video, we're going to take a look inside the Blue Vine portal. Uh, inside the Blue Vine portal. This is from the round one. We want you guys to be set up for success so you guys know exactly what you're going to be anticipating here. So we're going to cover a step-by-step -step of the portal uh, and overall timeline so you guys have a good determination of how the portal works. And we're going to talk about the automated processing of what they have available to automate. Things like your 940, your 941, 944s, 1120s, uh, ADP, payroll systems, and of course, Schedule C's, 1040 Schedule C's. Uh, so we're going to break this down in six very simple steps. If you follow along these sim six very simple steps, you guys will be able to get this done rather quickly and rather easily. Remember, using actual documents that I named, they do have the ability to manually process. Now, it would cost you some of that time of that three-day uh, window. For all those new viewers, guys, consider becoming a subscriber. I really appreciate you guys viewing and tuning in today. Uh, we're the channel that pays you guys. I'm going to be sending out a stimulus check here very shortly. Uh, as I reach my 5,000 subscriber milestone, I am picking one lucky comment from below to send 500 bucks to some lucky winner. So all you got to do is be a subscriber and drop a comment down below. And I'm going to randomly select one comment, one winner to send $500 to. Now, of course, if you want to increase your chances of winning, go check out some of my other videos and drop some comments in there as well. It just puts more tickets in the raffle bucket. Uh, and while you're down there, grab four free stocks from Weeble valued up to $3,600. The promotion is not going to last forever. I put a link in the description. So go check out Weeble as well. All right, guys, let's get into those six easy steps. Okay, guys, this example that we're about to follow follows a real life person. This person was an actual gig worker, okay? Gig workers qualify for the PPP funds. They're employees of one. And this person filed a Schedule C, a 1040 Schedule C as a sole proprietor. Uh, some things that you're gonna need to know when you're on the Blue Vine portal, if they ask you what your business name is, your business name is your actual name. And if they ask you what your uh, EIN number is, your EIN number is your social security number, okay? So this gig worker, uh, gig workers are defined as like Uber, Uber Lyft drivers, uh, Instacart workers, uh, Airbnb managers, uh, maybe Uber Eats drivers, uh, all sorts of all sorts of uh, realms that could be qualified for the PPP program. And uh, I want you guys to follow this real life example of a 1040 Schedule C. Now I blocked out some of the information, uh, some of it was sensitive, but uh, follow along in this example. All right, step number one, you're going to need to do just a little bit of homework for yourself. And this is obtaining your, your documentation. You're going to need your driver's license, a copy of it front and back, clear and legible. You're also going to need your Schedule C uh, from 2019, 2020. This could be a draft copy for Bluevine, but it has to be the, the copy that you're willing to submit to the IRS. Um, and you also need a copy of your bank statements with a transaction from February 15th of 2020, that's given proof that you were in business on that day. Maybe there was some kind of fund transfer uh, between you and a client that shows you were in business on February 15th of 2020. Step number two, you guys are gonna go out to the Blue Vine portal. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? Step number three, you're gonna start uploading your documents. 
Uh, here's where you guys are going to upload your, your driver's license front and back. You're going to upload that Schedule C that we talked about. Uh, you're going to answer a series of questions. Now, it's not in your best interest to falsely uh, answer these questions because they're federal-related questions like, have you ever been uh, convicted of a fel federal felony and, and some federal information on grants? Answer all the questions appropriately. Make sure you're not lying on these things. Advance After you advance those questions, it takes your Schedule C and it tells you, you qualify for this much money. Now, this much money is line 31 from your Schedule C. You take that value on line 31 and you divide it by 12. So you can do this before you even start with Bluevine. Take the value on line 31, divide it by 12, and then multiply it by 2.5. And that's the amount of money you guys qualify for. Now, there's something new with the relief package. Uh, if you're in the hospitality realm and you file your taxes under the hospitality codes, um, you guys are actually qualifying for three and a half times this round because hospitality has been hit pretty hard uh, over the most recent months. Now, after this step, uh, it'll put you into the automated queuing process. And this is the point in time where you guys are going to go check your email and you're going to see this, this email that shows up telling you your next step. That email is going to say, go to Bluevine, click this link, go to Bluevine to activate your account you qualify for the Paycheck Protection Program. Okay guys, step number four. You're gonna go out to your email. In your email, there's gonna be a link that is for setting up your portal, right? For setting up your account within Bluevine. You're gonna click on the Bluevine link and it's gonna take you straight to the Bluevine website and this image is gonna appear and it's gonna say, congratulations, you've been approved for this much money. Right, however much money it was, maybe it's the $20,834, and it's gonna say you have 60 months to pay this back, it's deferred for 10 months, um, it's at 1%. Step number five is where you actually click and accept your loan offers. Within 12 hours, you're gonna receive another email. This email says, here's a loan offer. Click here to receive your loan offer. So there's gonna be another blue, there's gonna be another blue link and it says accept an offer. So in, in this portion, you're actually going to click on that link that says click to accept your loan offer and it's going to take you to DocuSign. DocuSign is just a website that you could have PDF forms and then you guys kind of like can scroll your finger and automatically sign all these documents. And this is pretty much the last step that you're going to have to do with Bluevine. The minute you click finish on DocuSign, you're going to hit finish. This is step number six. <laughs> click finish and instantaneously another screen pops up and says congratulations you've been approved boom just like that magically twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty two dollars if you guys qualified for the full amount will be on its way to your bank account you're also going to get an email that says the same thing so you're going to receive an email that says your funds are on the way this is the exciting part guys because you're going to go check your email now you just got that email and it says your funds are on the way and I'm telling you guys, it says like two to three business days. It's not two to three business days. It's instantaneously. The minute you see that email, your funds are on the way. Go check your bank account. Uh, I, I work with a large group, a large network of entrepreneurs that have gone through this process already. And each one of them gave me the same testimony that this thing is instant. The second you get that email, you go check your bank account. Boom, your funds are there. $20,832. So that three to five business days may actually realistically look like 24 hours, maybe 48 hours in some cases. And this was all done with no credit checks. All of the entrepreneurs that I work with didn't see a single hit on their credit, on their credit reports. I know a lot of people out there question and ask, has this been done without credit checks? And thus far, I have yet to see one positive, one solid testimony that says, yeah, there was a credit check. Now, I do know that the EIDL program, E-I-D-L, S-B-A, uh, does require a credit check. And these things get overlapped so much that people confuse EIDL with PPP and uh, believe that there's a credit check and believe they won't qualify. So when in doubt, check it out. Just go out there and try, try, see if you guys qualify, see if they drop you guys any credit check, advance through everything as, as I just explained. And uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments how, how it all worked out for you. I want to thank you guys again all for joining me for this video. Remember to share this with your friends, like, 
become subscribers. This is the channel that pays you. I'd like to give a stimulus package of $500 when I hit my milestone of 5,000 subscribers, sending somebody a lucky check of 500 bucks, man. So I hope it's you. Best of luck to you guys. I hope you found this video useful, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.